Hey guys, Alex here from Deep Cycle Power. In this video, I want to talk about a pack calculator and label maker software that I've been working on for the past weeks. Uh, it's open source and uh, we also offer it for free, already um, packed on our website. You can go to deepcyclepower.com, go to the software category and you'll see the product. You go to the checkout, it's not going to ask you for uh, any payment details and it will give you a download link. So after you buy it, you'll see it here. You'll see the download link. It's also GitHub. You can uh, see the source code and build it by going to GitHub Alex 3D Brass slash battery packer. I will also add this link to the product description so you can find it on the same uh, page. So let's, uh, let's get into this and uh, see what it's all about. It's still in the deb debug mode. So you'll see this black window here and you'll see some print. It's useful when you want to track errors as well. So this is the interface. You can see that it detected the printer. I implemented this with uh, Fomemo M110, which is a pretty nice printer. But I will get to that in a, in a second. This is the main window, and it has two tabs. It has cell indexing and pack creation. This software is meant to be used by those who are not using the Megacell monitor software, so they don't use our products. They might be using a Lito Kala or uh, one of these, so they can use the Opus or the Lito Kala, which we also have on our website for sale if you are looking to get one. It's pretty good. This is the newer model. So. Let's say you measure the capacity of these cells using your own uh, devices and you want to create labels like these. So let me focus on this. This is very useful when you're doing a database to be used for pack creation later. All right, so the first thing is to create a new project. I'll call it project one. If you are not going to create a project, the software will crash right now. I need to handle some errors, but uh, I wanted to get this out so I get the feedback from people using it and they can contribute to making this better. All right, so after you measured, you're going to have a spreadsheet or if you are using a laptop, you can go with the laptop and input the capacity you got from those cells. So let's say it's, it's 2,500 2, milliamps. You got the Intel resistance and you got the voltage. And you can also add the color zero one. You're going to add all your cells like this. Okay, so I have 16 cells right now. That's actually the capacity Megacell charger can do in one run. 
You also have them listed here if you want to get those sales um, in a Repacker app or uh, some other software where you can just copy and paste these from, from your database. So this became actually a database. You are going to see the, um, this project here. If you're going to make multiple projects, so let's say project two, to create, and you load cells, you'll see that you don't have anything in, in project two. But if you go to project one again, You'll see that you are on project one from the title of the app. So you see project one. You're going to be able to load the cells you added. Here you can filter which cells are going to be added in your in here. So I'll, I'll filter all of them. And here you can choose which printer you want. For now, we, we support the Timo 450 and this Fomimo label printer. You're going to select which printer you want. So I'll print, I will select the cells that I want to print and choose to print. I'm going to see some output on the debug window as well. You can minimize that and so it doesn't stay in your way. All right. So these are the labels that were printed with the information that we inserted in the database. The same thing can be done printing with this for Mimo. So this is the type of label you are getting. All right. I personally like this kind of label because it's bigger. So it's going to be more visible on your cells, especially if you're older and wearing glasses. So this is how it looks. And now I will demonstrate why is this useful, because you might wonder, OK, why I'm doing this? Why, why I should do this kind of work? So after you printed the labels and apply them on your cells, you can go to the Pack Creation tab. I'm using this portable scanner, QR code scanner, that's going to help me index the cells that I plan on using for the pack. So I do this. Okay, so I have all the cells added, and now I can calculate the pack. What it's going to do is to show me for each string which cells I'm going to need. And now I can use the scanner again to ask where these cells should be placed. So I'm scanning now and says, OK, this cell should be placed in string 1. This cell should be placed in, in position or string 3. This one, no. This one should be in position 2. Position 2.
and because they are very close sometimes it's not scanning the the right one so I'm missing this one so L11 this one as well and 124 09 this one okay so after you finished scanning the cells it will show you that, okay you completed the the pack and you should have all the cells positioned properly that's all there is to the software so far I think it's going to help a lot of people get the packs created faster and also to organize their cells better. I hope you are going to enjoy using the software and if you need a device that's going to automate your work even further, uh, make sure you check out our mega cell charger. You can go to the documentation page to see all the features. We have a lot of videos uh, showing what our device is doing. So make sure you check out all the features of the Megacell charger. You can see the videos and this is actually a playlist where you can watch the full workflow of using our, uh, our device. It also supports printing labels like uh, I implemented in the software and much more features. Make sure you check out the videos for all the details. Thank you very much for watching guys and I wish you all the best.